Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding Glass. We have a challenge run today that is a little bit interesting. I don't have a name for it actually, but it was suggested by uh, YouTube user Nova Stator, who you may remember for suggesting, I don't know, somewhere on the order of probably like a dozen challenge run runs that we've done uh, over the course of our Binding of Isaac lives. In any case, what we basically have here, we have Ipecac, Remote Detonator, and Spoonbender. So we have homing shots, we also have arcing tower, or not tower shots, but arcing, uh, Explosive shots, as you can see, that also do poison damage uh, via Ipecac, but then the trick with this is uh, when you use Remote Detonator after shooting some Ipecac shots, it does an explosion in like the last place where the shot landed, so I have no idea how this is going to work out for us. I was checking to see if maybe you could explode them in the air. Okay, you can't explode them indefinitely either. This is all brand new to me. Uh, so in terms of like uh, the obvious kind of conditions of this run, of course, there is absolutely no way that we could possibly uh, get rid of Ipecac by picking up something like Mom's Knife or Brimstone. Beyond that, absolutely no way that, oh, there's nothing, no way I can actually get one of those items, unfortunately, uh, because I don't have any keys. There's no way that I could get rid of uh, Remote Detonator, and uh, those are not the secret room, which surprised me a great deal. Uh, beyond that, I think anything goes, basically, and just to placate people, let's take a little trip to the uh, cursor. Oh, there's our secret room. Hey, we got two spirit hearts as a result for this. We'll lose some of them going to the second secret room here, which gives us Book of Belial. That's actually the first secret room. Uh, so I guess in the end, we have basically our starting amount of health. And you know what? There is actually a key right here that I can easily get. Why don't we open up this golden chest as well and see what we get. Now, in a normal circumstance, it would have been amazing for us to be able to uh, pick up that Book of Belial so early. But in this situation, obviously, Remote Detonator is going to be the crux of this whole run. So I'm thinking that uh, primarily... This is going to be um, mostly useful uh, when it comes to taking out bosses. Like, it, it, it seemed to work fantastically against this guy, for example. Uh, and if we don't kill a boss on the first hit, then we can just continue, especially for a boss like Mom's Heart, just continue spamming the shot right in the center and it should be A-OK. -okay. So, maybe it's, it's possible that uh, we should have run with some kind of, like, a debilitating condition along with this run. Uh, you know, along with the fact that we have, like, Ipecac, which... Ipecac plus Spoonbender, I should say, can sometimes be a little tricky. Why didn't that work there? Uh, Ipecac plus Spoonbender can sometimes be a little bit tricky in conjunction with one another, but maybe, like, no item rooms for two floors or something like that. It's not like uh, we got something particularly useful from the last item room anyway, but still. Uh, why don't we go fight our boss right away since we are already here. We have a half spirit heart plus another full spirit heart here, and I'm really looking forward to running into a boss. You know, this might not be the one, uh, but basically what this is is that every, like, Ipecac shot that lands is essentially two Ipecac, Ipecac shots that land, because uh, we can just spam the shot immediately afterwards like that. That didn't do any extra damage. That is kind of surprising to me. That worked out quite nicely, though. Obviously, the pony is something that we can't really deal with, but maybe a lump of coal in here. Sadly not. I might have been better off taking Guppy's tail there. Uh, but in any case, why don't we continue going through the rest of this floor? Because there is no condition that indicates that we cannot continue uh, doing what we're doing. So I'm just going to continue to roll with that and leave it to Nova Stador to always find, or uh, at least report, the strangest kind of item interactions. Oh, right. Uh, due to remote detonator, we have to deal with that. Uh, Nova Stator is, he's kind of biz snappy in a way, and I'm sure biz snap is uncomfortable with that, uh, his name being used as, a, an adjective there, but, uh, he's kind of biz snappy in the way that he understands the game, you know, there's people that play Isaac like me, which is, I saw in the comments, accurately probably described as a brute force type method, where basically I'm just like, well, this is the way I play the game, and if it works, it works, if it doesn't, well, fuck you troll engine. Uh, and then there's other people, uh, you know, like BizSnap, for example, or, you know, Cobalt Streak, that focus on mechanics, and even, uh, you know, this might not be, a uh, totally accurate, but breaking the game to a certain extent, at the very least breaking it down. Nova Stator strikes me as being from that uh, second camp for sure, and I appreciate it because it gives me all sorts of, uh, you know, neat kind of opportunities uh, to try out these runs that I would have otherwise never experienced. In any case, I'm glad that there, there are people like that in my life, in my Isaac life anyway. It's not like I come home and say, oh, Nova Stator, I'm home, what's for dinner? Oh, it's a challenge run again? How'd you know? It's my favorite. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very glad to have people like that in my Binding of Isaac life to, to balance out my idiocy uh, with a little bit of proficiency. I think it's a, a, a smart idea. I just wanted to see if Ipecac might uh, blow up that troll bomb. Uh, it did not, but we will stand here and wait for the interception on that penny. Uh, I guess, you know, the shop is uh, valuable or viable at the very least. We'll see about valuable. We might be able to get a compass or something. And now we have homing bombs. I don't know how that affects Ipecac, especially considering we already have homing shots. Uh, that was a great dodge there, though, and we will now be able to go to our shop. Contained therein is a ladder, which we will absolutely take. Don't want to take the pill, necessarily. Don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby, etc., etc. No way for me to get into that, uh, mob tr or boss trap room, I guess. 
Unless we get lucky and there's a secret room right there. I don't think it's possible for there to be a secret room on the other side of the uh, item room. So instead we're just going to leave. And you know, it's been a very good first couple of floors here, I have to admit. But uh, we're going to need to stack up some more HP in all likelihood if we're going to succeed. And uh, beyond that, probably a flying item is going to be the most important thing. Our damage is already fine. Especially being able to do kind of a one-two punch with the remote detonator is great. Uh, but I worry that we're not going to have the uh, defensive ability or the, uh, I don't know, I guess it is entirely defensive ability, but I worry that we're not going to uh, be able to finish ourselves off here. I'm almost wondering, like, as I look at this, does the second Ipecac shot do damage? Because sometimes it doesn't seem to. Oh my god, sometimes it seems to just, uh, this is a tough room. Let's leave. Uh, we'll probably have to come back, no question about it, but uh, maybe we'll just use our standard bombs to take care of that, because that was a rough room there and I didn't really feel like dying on the, you know this early on in the game because I right, maybe it's just that I'm missing with the Ipecac shots and they have a lower range than I otherwise anticipate we'll see in a second though because I'm worried that maybe it just does the uh, like it knocks them back but it doesn't actually hurt them I don't know so let's drop a bomb here beauty of remote detonator is uh, oh my god oh Jesus Christ what do I do guys that's, uh, I thought, it, I think that was the only way out, unfortunately. I'm actually surprisingly close to death with two keys. I feel like I have to open up at least one of these. A speed upgrade is not really what I wanted. Uh, and, okay, we did get a spirit heart and a key out of that one. So all is not necessarily lost right off the bat. Uh, oh my god, are you kidding me? It's the, like, worst enemies we could run into right now. We just keep running into them constantly. Please tell me I killed at least one. It looks like I did. Now we just gotta, like, now that I have the speed upgrade, it's actually almost a, a godsend. Because uh, I can finish them off a little bit uh, more safely. See, that went much, much better than the previous ones. There's our secret room, which is going to give us enough money to probably go to the shop in the future. Uh, but yeah, without that speed upgrade and without, like, the holes in the center of the map, it, it makes things very difficult for me. That was much, much better. Now we might as well get all the money here, because I don't see a reason why not to. We are, I guess, primarily looking for the compass. Uh, whether or not we get it remains to be seen, but let's continue moving. Okay! Again, that's a, a situation where Ipecac didn't really seem to do what I wanted it to do. Oh, we have homing bombs! So maybe... Oh, uh, it didn't work at all. That one kind of did. Well, thankfully we picked up like 16 bombs, which might actually make it uh, feasible for us to do this. Spoonbender's not doing jack shit, I'll tell you that much. Uh... There we go, and now we've got him trapped in the corner. Fantastic. Pick up some more bombs, which are apparently uh, goddamn essential right now. This is proving to be surprisingly difficult, considering we are only on the caves. I mean, it's not necessarily that I'm getting outclassed here. It's just that um, the combination of items that I have make it very difficult for me to take out the uh, most common enemy type, unfortunately. Uh... I was really hoping that he would pop up before that happened, but no such luck. And remember, we do have two item rooms in a shop on this floor. Uh, at the very least, there could be a library or something in conjunction with that. You never know. I mean, someone probably knows, but I don't know. Uh, this should be a perfect chain reaction here. Very beautiful and uh, just an elegant shot, if you will. We've got to be coming up to a dead end at some point here. Uh, it's, this floor has gone on far too long for me to not have to get any kind of reward uh, in the meantime. But this TNT, ah, we didn't even need the TNT to do it there. The Hanged Man, it's a good card. I've taken to using that, like, pronunciation for E, you know, most people say the Hanged Man. In fact, most normal people say the Hanged Man. But myself, I like to, you know, get a little idiosyncratic and, uh, perhaps a little bit stupid. And, you know, just add that little extra flair on the E. The Hanged Man! Yes, I will have the frame-broiled chicken sandwich, king of burgers. Um, we have another... One cent, and that didn't. Oh, I didn't mean to give you that, but I'm not glad I did actually. Spacebar items continue to abound. Uh, throw some bombs down there, and. Well, okay, that was really silly of me. I probably should use the hanged man on that room, actually. And I'm very concerned, uh, not so much about dying against an enemy right here, or not so much dying against a mob right here, but dying against a, a boss. Because you never know what kind of bosses and layouts we might end up facing, but I'm gonna try it regardless. This is actually the ideal boss, I think, and I, I realize that it might seem like I've totally forsaken the challenge run and the fact that you can, like, re-blow up the Ipecac. This seems like a challenge run where the, the crux of it is basically that you're showing off kind of a, a neat new mechanic that a lot of people are not familiar with. Because uh, it doesn't really seem like the second Ipecac shot does very much damage at all. Uh, you can see that was the combination right there. First, and so oh, we're not going to see the second one, I suppose, are we? Uh, let's check out this coin purse. We got 
Two groups of two, this is. Have bad trips, so this should be full health. Thank you, game, for unintentionally giving me full health back. And that is speed down. All right, so that is probably uh, one of the worst series of boss, rooms item, uh, boss room items you could poss possibly imagine. Sorry, I went full Dr. Steve Brule there. Um, yeah, we had uh, two speed down pills and two bad trip pills. We're actually kind of lucky that the uh, bad trip pill ended up maybe saving our lives in the whole scheme of things, which is pretty surprising. I don't really get this, uh, like, the practical application of the second Ipecac shot. Is it really just to do a slight bit of extra damage? Also, Spoonbender, just F off, man. And I'm not even sure if, like, the uh, extra damage is coming from the Ipecac shot or if it's coming from the poison damage from the first Ipecac shot, if that makes sense. Uh, that is an HP upgrade, which is probably essential at this point. So we are still going to look out for a uh, boss... Uh, and, or sorry, not boss, a uh, shop and item room items. Uh, we can really open up everything that we want. Oh, we have the ladder. We should just go pick up this penny. Um, we, yeah, we can't do everything that we want because we don't have the kind of key set up where that would be, uh, actually possible for us. Uh, so, we might check out our mob trap room. It's gonna be a big remainder of the floor here, if I had to guess. Uh, remainder of the floor, of course. Also, you know what's coming, a great name for some kind of, like, post-hardcore band or something. Or, you know, uh, the home restoration project. Might as well pop this open to see what we got in here. Two cents, which, uh, at the very least, may make the shop worthwhile. Um, it's, it's almost worth going into the shop, because A, Greed will drop money, which we can use to drop, or, if, if, this is assuming we run into Greed, of course. Uh, but Greed will drop money that we can use on, um, future shops to help ourselves out. I always get confused when I say that, because Future Shop, again, uh, an actual, like, retail outlet in Canada, and maybe other parts of the world, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but also, he has a tendency to drop keys as well, which is much appreciated. Uh, unfortunately, the speed down is making things a little bit more difficult, but very, very slightly. One more series of enemies, and in fact, these guys should be substantially easier to slowly move while firing simultaneously, and that'll be the end. So, extra bombs for me. So, we'll check uh, up into the left here. Uh, and I wonder if these fl this uh, floor plan will ever, like, meet around in the middle somewhere, because as of right now, uh, oh man, there's that, totally that room that I couldn't get past on the first try, so let's maybe go back there. That's a real, like, admission of failure for myself to be like, I could not beat a room with three Isla Zeus guys in it, but I think now, uh, I I've practiced my tactics enough, out of necessity, essentially, uh, that I could probably take out that room, uh, if necessary, and, you know, it might be necessary, because I doubt we are going to get two item rooms, uh, on this side of the map. Even if we do, there might be something special over there, so it's worth taking this pill as well. That is bad gas. Uh, poison damage, apparently the name of the game here, so we'll go up and to the straight. Probably, like, a, not a, a water straight, you know, like the Georgia straight or something like that. I don't know the, too many straights. That's probably the body of water that I'm least familiar with. Really, you're gonna give me a health down pill? The pills that we're getting right now are just ridiculous, like, absurdly bad. Uh, doesn't that sound like a name of someone in, like, a Roald Dahl book? His uncle was absurdly bad, a cobbler who had never made good business for himself. I don't know. Uh, Abel, sure, we'll pick it up. Abel's not gonna be that useful for us, because keep in mind, we are dealing with a situation where, uh, you know, he'll only fire when we fire, and we're not gonna fire all that often, in all likelihood, simply because we have Ipecac, and I could easily end up doing something silly like that to myself. So we will go come back here and pick up this half red heart. That's what I get for trying to demonstrate uh, what we were gonna do with that guy. So we will instead, with one sense, sorry, one key, I think it makes the most sense for us to probably go to the shop, but I have never been a particularly clever man. So I think instead we will make our way up to the very top here. I kinda wanna avenge my, uh, previous misgivings with these guys up here and hopefully I can turn things around and not get hit at all. I mean, if I get hit a couple times, I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, sometimes homing shots, man, I really just wish I could fire them myself uh, as opposed to- oh, that one worked out fantastically, okay. Then we got an extra key for that, there's something symbolic about it, but yeah, homing shots is like an item that I don't necessarily like. I, I used to- oh, I'm fucked here. Uh, not fucked, but hurt a few times. More times than I should be, um... Let's just throw down, like, a real bomb there, and then one of these, and that'll do some good work. Uh, I'm concerned, because these guys are a fairly ubiquitous enemy, and if we keep running into them, uh, we could possibly see ourselves, you know, continuously getting screwed. Now, we do get another bomb modifier. Again, we already kind of have unlimited poison homing bombs, so picking up, uh, homing bombs that are now poison, 
uh, passively is kind of a little interesting. I don't know how this is going to affect uh, the amount of damage that we do. I'm glad to be fighting Pride. Don't get me wrong. Uh, basically a free tarot card for us that could be remarkable. Star's card takes us immediately to the secret room. I think it's more important than the flying man. Sorry, the hanged man. Uh, considering that we have uh, the ladder. So, very final thing that we'll do on this floor. I realize it's been kind of a long one. We are going to go down to the shop. And when we're in the shop... Uh, we will probably fight Greed, and after we fight Greed, we will pick up his money, and we will use that money on the next floor to buy the compass, and then we'll win the game, uh, just by bombing our way through all the rooms, and everyone will be very happy, and we'll get a corporate sponsorship from Monster Energy Drinks, or NOS, I'm not picky, uh, and we'll open our own Subway franchise, and life will be hunky-dory. So, uh, there is a teleporter here, which obviously I can't take. Our shop, well, so far, so interesting, anyway. Uh, we will definitely pick up the treasure map, and at this point I think we should pick up the key, considering it's half price. And then go down to the next floor. Map is not really what I was looking for, but uh, we are done with this floor and we're still alive. It's unfortunate that that HP upgrade kind of got transformed into an HP nothing grade, uh, simply by virtue of the fact that I uh, picked up an HP down pill, which I had no idea about. But, uh, you know, shit happens, I suppose. So we're in Necropolis, uh, we might as well pop the start. Wait a minute. Star's card takes us to the item room and gives us more bombs. There's some weird kind of duality on this run. And now I wish I had the hangman! Um, because I might actually find myself dying on this room. It's remarkable how fast a run like this can turn around. We are one hit away from death. All we gotta do is kill the spider. Thank you, Abel. Uh, but we might die on this next room. Oh, man. Thank God the speed down pill from earlier didn't kill me. Uh, just, oh my God, just run. You, that's all I can do. I can't even, like, bait those blue spikes into doing something else. Uh, this is good. I have the keys necessary to open a golden chest. Uh, and by opening that, maybe there's going to be hearts inside? There's not. There's more keys, so that's good, I guess. Maybe our item room or shop is right up here. Don't die to the turrets. That would be very disappointing. Uh, one more room without dying. One more room without... Oh, shit. I'm dead. <laughs> well, I tried, Novastador. I appreciate the uh, introduction into that weird little... Uh, quirk about Ipecac, but it didn't really do me all that much good. It's kind of an interesting to note, though, but, you know, build more challenge runs around it, and I look forward to seeing those. Apologies for the short episode, but as always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will do another challenge run next, try to stack it a little bit more in my favor uh, to make it a little bit more interesting and long, but as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.